morning guys it's six o'clock and i'm about to get out of bed and get ready for school i don't fully awake yet but we gotta do what we gotta do i need to get to school at 7 30 that's the time that the building opens i'm gonna try and use my time wisely this whole week because i'll put my hand in next week I'm going to leave everything and show you guys my morning face. My morning face is not too bad, actually. At least my skin looks nice. The sun is not even out here. It's still dark. I'm going to lay my bed, pack my bag, and get in the shower. <laughs> it's seven, and I'm practically done now, but... I need to eat something before I leave. So I'm going to have one pancake, a single pancake. And then I would leave at 7.25. So I've got 24 minutes, I think. Then I'll leave. I could give you um, my very next one. Why not? There's no reason for it. It's just, I don't want to eat anything more than a pancake and this. So yeah, this should fill me up for the morning. I'm done now, about to head out. It's now 7.25. Uni is practically like two minutes away, so it's not a big deal. Go on TD. Let's go. So I got to school at exactly 7.30 as planned. Nobody was on campus, just a few people. I went up to our floor with intentions to do some knit work. I don't know what I was thinking, but the room wasn't open. So I decided to go somewhere else. To do some work on my technical journal as at monday i literally had a quarter of a page done for my technical journal and see the pressure the pressure was just the pressure was proper getting to me but i just knew that if i was just a little more disciplined i'll get everything done i had to go online scroll through pinterest i feel like i've seen every single picture on pinterest in the past four days like hmm i had to find pictures put them through photoshop print them out cut them up, stick them in the technical journal, talk about them, analyze them, do my diagrams, everything, please. It was a lot of work. By 12.30, I was tired and I took a break to eat my biscuits. And I had to head out to the class for a hand-in brief at 1 p.m. After the briefing, I had a garment tech class from two to five. And I got there quite early, so I was just chilling for a bit. Yeah. And then draw a line here. Garment Tech, simply put, is just sewing. So that day we did different types of binding for armholes. So we ended up five, and I just decided to use that opportunity to go to the knit room to do some samples that I missed in the first few weeks. I got kicked out of the room at seven, so I just decided to go home. All right, guys, I'm going to go. I'm heading home so I can get some so I plan to leave to the library at 8.15 because we had a booking at 8.30 but after eating dinner I closed my eyes for a second and I think I slept for like 20 minutes so I got to the library a bit late but the room was still free so that's good. Initially I planned to do design work for my sketchbook but I changed my mind and went on with my technical journal because I had three pages at the end of the day and I felt like I needed some more. So technical journal work, you should know by now, find clothing references, print them out, cut them up, analyze how the clothing has been made, make annotations, draw diagrams, you know, basically just breaking down the garment. Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's currently 12 days. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying, I'm lying. It's 12, 12, and Charlie. I cannot do this anymore. I'm going home, I'm going to sleep. And tomorrow needs my help, so I'm gonna go see her. That's it for today, guys. See ya tomorrow. Well, guys, I wasn't able to record when I woke up because I woke up late. I was meant to wake up at 6 or 6.15 at the latest. But today I woke up at 7 because I was tired. I was just tired. Last night I had to take care of Tamara for a bit. So I ended up sleeping at two. 
and i just couldn't wake up at six it's about 7 45 right now and i'm going to leave right now actually i'm going to put snacks in my bag and then leave so i should be out by like 7 50. that was what i wore on tuesday and i got to school just a few minutes before eight which i feel isn't very late it's actually quite early there weren't that many people in the building and that day i decided to do design work which is more creative than technical and i had to find images cut them up use them for collages just to create concepts and stuff like that and then the fire alarm went off We had to stand outside for like 20 whole minutes but then we finally got let back into the building and I had to print out all my images for my research dossier and reference all of them so I had to find where the image was from, write it down, hey please this was way too much work for me. I left the study space at 1.45 because I had a pattern cutting class at 2 so I was just chilling for a bit until the class started. We were drafting a pattern for a kimono sleeve and it wasn't exceptionally difficult so it was quite easy so I got through it very quickly and yeah. Done for the day. Well, for the school pass of the day. I'm going to eat and then go to the library at 7. At this point, I feel like I'm dragging myself everywhere. But what can we do? We need to get the work in. In the library, I decided to do some more design work, which was basically loads and loads of collage work. So I was cutting stuff up, gluing them down. So many things. That day I had to get an energy drink because I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore. To be honest, I was fully focused and I got so much work done in that one session, considering that on Monday I only had six pages. So I made good progress. I'm tired. I'm just yeah, we're tired guys. It's currently like 110 and riding out. I mean guys. It's seven and I couldn't be bothered to wake up at six again because I was tired. I slept at two once again. So I'm gonna get ready and you know the drill. By now you should know the drill. I'm not going to school. But I've got a class at 10, so I'll probably do some work afterwards as well. So 10 to one, I've got class and then I'll get some work done in uni before I come home and then go to the library. <laughs> Okay, I'm done now. I finished surprisingly fast because it's only 8 7. This is what we're wearing today. Let's get it. I completed a few design pages that morning for my sketchbook and I left for my class at 9 45. It was a design class and I couldn't record so much of it because we were really, really busy and I forgot. <laughs> So I'm back home and today was a really good day. The day hasn't even finished, it's just like 1.20. And I've come back home because we had a review with like our, our teachers and she said I've gotten most of the stuff done. So I'm gonna clean my room because I've been neglecting my room for the past few days. And I'll clean my room and then head back to the library at like, at like six. Let me take a break. Let me take a break because I've been I've been doing too much. I've been doing too much and it's paying off. So I owe myself a break. So I'm gonna have lunch early and I think I'm gonna have potatoes. Let's pass it up. Oui. There we go. So I had my lunch and then I took a nap and then I left for the library at six. It was basically just the same old routine, you know, working on my technical journal, my design sketchbook, just trying to get everything organized before Monday for my assessments. And geez, at this point, I felt like I was living in the library because mind you, this didn't start just this week. For like a whole week and a half before this, I was doing that uni library rotation, just trying to catch up with the weeks I missed and finish my work. 
guys it's going on midnight now and i've had enough i've had enough i'm ready to leave i'm ready to get out and i'm hungry as well <laughs> morning guys it is 8 30 and i was meant to go to school early today but i changed my mind because today lounge lounge underwear is doing something so we're gonna go there at nine to go and get like a free set of underwear <laughs> But then now that I think of it, I don't think I want to go anymore because I can go tomorrow. Tomorrow I haven't got class. This morning I got class at ten, so I've I've changed my mind. I'm going to go to class instead, and then I'll get my free set tomorrow. Let's get ready for school. Alright, let's go. We had a knit class from ten to one, and the level of frustration I faced in that class, I even had to stop recording, so I didn't get so much footage. I went home and came back at 5 to try the knit again and I couldn't get videos of this because I was already stressed. So I did knit up until 7 and then I came to the library at like, I was in the library from like 7.10. Working with the feedback I got from the design session, I had to first look for fashion references that relate to my work. And then I planned how I would lay the photos out in my sketchbook and my technical journal. Uh, I had to go through all the pages to see if I was missing any photos and I added those as well. And then I made my way to a computer in the library to compile all of these on Photoshop and then print them out. So that didn't take too long because I already had the images sent to my email already so I just put them together. And then I printed these out and cut them up. Guys, it's 10 minutes to 11. We're still going strong. No energy drink, nothing. We're still going strong. My head looks better without my headphones now. I think I'm used to having my headphones. But I'm not even listening to anything, but it's aesthetics. So I had to cut all the images out and I opted to use a scalpel and a cutting pad because it's a lot faster than using scissors. So I cut all of these out and we ended up leaving the library at like 1.30 because Whiskey dropped an album and I just got energy to carry on doing work until that time. Morning guys, it's Friday and I haven't got class today. It's about, oh, it's about 8.30 and today I'm going to get my free set from lounge. So I'm going to meet Erica and then we're going to pick up our set at 9 because they open at 9. So at 9, we went to pick up our free sets. We also had to make a donation. I don't know what we were donating for, but then I donated anyways. And then I got back home and I got back to doing my work. I did some more technical journal pages. Basically, all I was doing was completing pages that hadn't been finished. Just, you know, trying to get everything on that checklist done and completed before Monday. I had practically finished everything and I moved on to ironing out my knit samples and putting them on header cards so that took a very very long time i think i did that from like 11 to like 2 30 i was just organizing everything obviously i'm not going to put the tape there i'm not going to leave the tape there but i was just trying to organize all my stuff i was going through the checklist making sure i had everything after that i went back to my technical journal and completed my last few pages all right guys don't watch my hairline but it's now going on four and i've got a rama concept this evening so I'm going to end this vlog here and get ready for that content. I'm not going to add that content to this vlog because I want to go and enjoy myself. I don't want to be recording and doing all of that. So I'm going to focus on my husband. I cannot be recording. I need to see with my two eyes. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Thanks for watching. Thank you for coming into my life for one week. Experiencing my life for one week. And hopefully I'll be doing more videos. So make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Bye guys.